Hey guys, it's me, Hugh, one half of your favorite, favorite dynamic podcasting duo, the unscripted real artist. And I'm coming to you with another painting video. This time, it's our favorite, your favorite, everyone's favorite, the Louis Tan. I will be getting more into the creative process during the video, so keep watching. And I'll see you at the end of the video. So basically what I'm doing here, I'm doing a quick sketch in some pale yellow paint, but before I start, but basically the inspiration for this was that I had found a picture of Louis Tan on the internet, came across it randomly one day, and I thought, hey, this is really fire photo. The lighting, everything was just, just really cool. So I thought, hey, I, one day I should do a painting based on this photo. So I saved it into my Rolodex and was like, okay, I'll come back to it another day. And so a few days prior to starting this painting, I was playing around in Clip Studio, you know, getting some ideas done, just, just experimenting. And so I was like, okay, let me open up this photo and just see, go with the flow, see where I go with it. And I got the idea to put sunflowers and it, that's where it sort of blossomed from there. Um, and so that's where the, the whole idea for this painting came from, which I do mention later on in the video because I was talking with Ray as I usually am. And yeah. And also I have to, I have this thing where I have to start a painting when I get inspiration. So otherwise it'll harass me for the rest of the day. So that's it. Now I'm having an existential crisis here because for whatever reason, it was just really difficult to get his facial features just right. And I was getting a little frustrated with myself. <laughs> So here I'm pretty much just saying a quick little prayer because everything was just not going right right here. Right now, I'm just taking off my glasses because the struggle was real. And I had to take off my shoes to sort of ground myself in the moment. So the original photo is a completely black and white photo photograph. And so I decided rather than using color, I would replicate that effect on the canvas. Um, in total, this entire process took me about 13 hours. Um, by the end of it, I was aching. I felt old <laughs> because them joints, they weren't it. Meg the Stallion knees, I don't have them. <laughs> I don't have them. <laughs> And I was standing there for several hours at a time, just going at it because when I'm in the flow, I'm in the flow and nothing, every, it's like everything else around me goes away, which is like probably some, uh, it's probably kind of weird to anybody who doesn't really understand, but it's just like when I'm in that moment, I'm in the moment and everything else is just disappears and I'm focused. You know, 
and I'm again I'm always playing music so that also you know pu pulls me into the to the moment and you know that's just how it is As for the song that was playing here, let's just say I'm gonna leave the door open. The more I work on it, the more. <laughs> Ray, Ray, help me. So, as you know, I work in acrylics. So I have to work really fast. That's part of the reason why I don't really tend to stop when I'm working because it dries so fast. So it's just, yeah. I kind of struggled a lot with the shadows here too because uh, they were quite dark on the um, original reference photo, but I think I started out making them too dark and it just threw everything off a little bit. Okay, so it's day two. I'm wearing different clothes. My hair is down. I'm feeling free, okay? <laughs> um, yeah. I was again struggling again because I had to paint, mix paint but makes the same shades of gray that I was using in the first part of this video, in the first half. So it was a struggle to get just the right amount of blue and red in there because on the reference photo, the grays don't really look like straight flat gray. It, it looks sort of purpley, pinky sort of. So it's just like getting the ratios right was really, really tough. One of the hardest parts about this painting was getting the eyes just right because you know the eyes are the windows into the soul and once you really get that part right everything else can really just start to come together as far as getting the likeness of the person that you're painting correct almost there it's, it's almost there. The eyes are closed, it's just the shape is a little off. Another thing I kind of struggled with was just getting like the chin and like the jawline in the correct shape as well because it's, he his face is sort of angular, but also not in the reference photo, it was really weird because the background was so dark. I guess that's probably what kind of threw me off a little bit. But also in the photo, it's pretty clear that he's standing in front of a window. And so a lot of those shadows, I, I made this a uh, huge challenge for myself like an idiot, but it was just the photo was so good. I had to, I had to, I had no choice. My fellow artists will understand when you see, sometimes when you see something that you want to paint or see someone that you want to paint, it's just like, you got to paint it, you know? So yeah, I basically just made this much harder than it needed to be by choosing this specific photo 
because of those shadows from the window, it kind of messed with the visuals of how I should place the shadows on his face and how just like the structure of his face where the shadows fall on his face, you know, just naturally. So that just threw everything off. Shadow. You mean the extra shadows from the window, right? Yeah. It's the extra shadow. Okay. That's a hard photo to reference. You know what I mean? I made text for the photo myself, but I love the lighting of it. That's why. That's why I picked this picture because of the lighting. Not the shadows, just the lighting of it. Was just just Chef's kiss. So I was like, I gotta, I gotta do a painting based on this picture, right? And then the other day, I was sitting there sketching and stuff, and the idea to put sunflowers in there came to me. But anyway, I gotta use the bathroom. Hold that box. Yeah, sometimes the original concept and what you want to do in the moment don't always match up, but I decided I was just going to continue with the, the concept. You said the, the background? Mm -hmm. I'm only seeing a corner of it though. I know, it's my Because remember, it's supposed to be Apollo, right? The title. Yeah. Right? So I figured sunset. Now I'm gonna put the flowers in the background, but I have some acrylic gloss, right? Now this acrylic gloss can thin out, make it more sheer, the colors. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna make some paint into the acrylic gloss to do the flowers, so that the parts of the flowers that are overlapping with him are sheer. And then like, it's like, so that I don't ruin the painting all together. You know what I mean? It's gonna look fire. It's gonna look fire. So now you can see that I'm putting my plan into action. I mixed the uh, acrylic gloss with the paints that I was using and started painting over the flowers. I was really reluctant at first to do the flowers still because I put so much work into getting the face just right that I was like, hey, should I really do this? Should I really though? So yeah, Ray's always in my ear, making sure that I take proper care of myself because I'm absolutely crappy at that. Are you sitting there? Yeah. Right. My mind is a terrible thing. <laughs> <laughs> he needed a data program. <laughs> Drugs and stuff could do. 
How do you mess up so hard, bro? How do you mess up so hard? How do you mess up that badly? Keep your hands and keep your hands and feet in all objects. Inside the park at all times. Keep your hands and feet inside the ride at all times. That's all I just had to do. People are dumb. I wasn't using bread. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's true though. She's dumb. Because bro. I said, keep your hands in the feet inside the ride at all times. Oh, please don't die right 
please don't die. Oh, Lord. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, right, come over right here. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to sign it real quick. <sighs> and I think that it is done now. Hey guys, it's me. I'm back. I hope you enjoyed every last second of that video. Uh, make sure to comment in the comment se section what you thought, what your thoughts are. And if you wanna see more content like this, or uh, really any other content that you want us to do, put it in the comment section below. Make sure to also like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, ding. And follow your girl at Rock Artist U. That is Rock Artist U with the H Y U on Instagram and Twitter. Links will be in the description below. Also, follow the other half of this dynamic duo, Ray, on Instagram. Her, her links will be in the description as well. And I will see you in the next video. Whenever that may be. Peace. Compose yourself. Compose yourself. Let's do that again. One more time. Let's get it nailed down. Actress. I'm an actress. I'm an actress. Get into it. Get into your actress mode, sir. Like, ma'am, get into your actress mode and hit the line, hit the line. You're gonna do it. You gotta do it perfectly this time so that you don't have a bunch of takes on your computer. Thank you.